Hey everybody, welcome to Pulpum X Classic Commentary, Moto Triple X Edition. With me to take me through this epic video is none other than Kenny Watson. K Dub, what's up? Thanks for uh, thanks for doing this. If there's no anybody problem. who knows anything about Moto Triple X, I'd like to think I know a lot about it. <laughs> I, at least the beginning of it. All right. Let's, when it came uh, down to the racing, it was kind of a uh, let's start at the here. end. I was out. And uh, this is an epic motocross video that Kenny, you were involved in epic? heavily. Epic. Epic. Uh, and you were involved in in heavily. Um, Quick Fix Films, Kurt Haller? Kurt Haller started the company, and uh, we started it in 94. Um, a lot of people don't know, the Triple X video, it took us three years, almost three years, to come out with this video. To, so to make you, it, you mean? Yeah, if you look at the beginning of the video, there's there's a shot of Brian Deegan riding uh, a Honda 125, uh -huh. um, and that was 1995. Right. So right. that will show you, and, and in the video, too, it shows Scott Sheik riding a Suzuki in 1996. Mm -hmm. So uh, we started out in 1994, you know, just doing this, and really... You know, really made the push in, in yep. 95, 96. Um, and the video, uh, the video sold well. All right, here we go. Here's the opening sequence. Who is that, and where is it? Do you know? It looks like David Pingree. That's Brian Deegan right there. Oh, Deegan That's on Larry the Link logo. <laughs> okay. Or no, Kyle Lewis. Wow. And uh, Scott Sheik. So at, at Pismo Beach, airing it out. Look at that. Wow. He probably um, went like 15 feet. Okay. That is in Huntington Beach, and I forgot the name of that place. That's Rusty Holland right there. Throwing it away. 71. Um, Mike Craig at Palm Avenue. Palm Avenue. Now, when you guys started this, obviously the Krusty videos had been out already, right? Um, Krusty. Won. Yeah. Well, Krusty. Krusty. Uh, um, we pretty much started at the same time because there okay. was never a video um, that was out and in this. And Kurt was com came from the snowboard background, oh. and uh, he uh, had the uh, the vision, and uh, we we ran with it. So Kurt was pretty much the driving force behind it. Um, well, my, my, my question to you is, I'm watching this, this is bringing back a lot of memories. Um, question, when you approach these guys, hey, we want to do just jumps. I mean, how was it? Were they like, huh? They what? were digging it because a lot of these guys, you know, have, have that, you know, that f the free ride background. Like, they just like to mm -hmm. go into the hills and, and, and ride with their friends. Right. And that's where it was. And, uh, oh, look, at Sheik at Pismo again. Um, so did it sell well? This thing did well. It did really it good. Did it good. did really, really well because we had a little different demographic than the Krusty. The Krusty was more of the HB, black flies, black hat, mm -hmm. you know, black socks, flip it. And, you know, we were kind of be, we were, we wanted to be more punk rock and, swing. and, uh, and do things different, you know, because the right. owners of the, of the, of the company was Eric Sandin of no effects and Jordan Burns of strung out. And they were pretty much the driving force behind it with Kurt running yeah. the business and doing all the filming. And this was before Jay Schweitzer was even around. Was that my MC right there? No. Uh, okay. Let's no, that was Mike Craig. On a Steel and Sallow gear. Uh, Castile Ranch right here? Uh, that is yeah. the ranch. That's And we put that. That was south of France. Oh, <laughs> that's what you guys said? That's what we call it, south of France. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay, right. Okay, that's David Pingree right there. Oh, I didn't some, know Ping was in this. I that was That was some place David Pingree rode to some like old place in Arizona. It was like a old – that was Regis right there, 22. Oh, was it? Okay. Yep. <laughs> and we, uh, that shot with Pingree was some like uh, abandoned air airport in Phoenix. Oh, Yeah. That's Jordan got hit by Brian in the face with the camera when Brian was riding by, and Brian ran into him and smashed the camera into his face. Watch, you'll see Brian Deegan right here saying, oh, you should have got out of the way. That's Brian Deegan, oh, yeah, 1995. Yeah. <laughs> Hardcore. Of course. Black, Brian Deegan had black flies on his bike. Of course, Jordan had to be in a video, right? Of course. Yeah, of course. Um, Turtle Weisskopf, I don't know if people remember him. His no, dad, he was the, his dad was him. a starter at Brown Oaks. Oh, really? Yeah, okay. that's Brian Deegan. Um, that's here, Mojave Desert. That's Brian Deegan and now, Kyle Lewis. Were you at a lot of these? Or all uh, of them you know or? what? I didn't. I, I didn't. I wasn't on the the shoots because I was on the road traveling back in the day. Um, I was pretty much doing it. But this was in the off season with Brian, and I was there for this shoot. Yeah, yeah. And uh, and so you became the Moto Triple X team manager. Yeah. Uh, spreading the word. Of yeah. This well, video. what happened was Jordan and I. I lived with Jordan at the time, and mm -hmm. uh, they they wanted to do this video, but they really didn't know the industry that well. Jordan knew some of the guys through me, and uh, I was pretty much the the connection the, for the riders. The contact. So yeah. we did that, and uh, you know the the riders didn't make any money. We just paid their expenses to come out and film and bought them lunch. And back in the day, that was good enough. And they for, were happy with that, right? Yeah, that was yeah. cool. Yeah. Um, uh, is there one part of this? DVD that's gnarlier for you than another? Like no, I I haven't watched this in years, and yeah. I, it just brings back so many memories. I, I would have to say, um, it was pretty much a lot of Lewis. Lot yeah, well, of just Lewis. in this, just just in this one segment, okay. this was kind of our. This was like the first real shoot we ever did because right. uh, Jordan and Eric had Kurt come out and film for the first time. He never even knew what racing was or motocross, and mm -hmm. he told them that they they said that they rode and they took him to L.A. County. 
And oh. Jordan and Eric were beginners, <laughs> and they couldn't even jump the big jumps. And and I was like, right. he was like, wow, really? And I'm like, no, no, no. There's <laughs> more to it. <laughs> there's actually really good guys. Yeah. There's so really- uh, this this is how it all it all came. And and you know, Jordan and Eric, they we started filming this on just some like shoulder handheld camera. Oh, okay. Until Kurt got involved, and, and yeah. we had to go to the next level. So oh, so there was there's footage in here of just you guys clowning around at the very beginning before yeah. Kurt. I'll I'll, sh- I'll I'll tell like you know what what Love we Daddy. did. Yeah, there's. I mean, there, there's a lot of big names in this. Uh, yeah, it's kind of funny. I believe even Tim Ferry's in this. Tim I Ferry is in this the at the Tim end. Tim Ferry is. Um, now, what about what about uh, some of the skits? Uh, how, whose idea were those, and how did those? Those were those were those were pretty much a, a collab of all of ours. You know, yeah. Jordan Jordan was a big part of that, and mm-hmm. uh, you know, we we we. We put a lot of time and effort into those, and the, some of them worked out. They were pretty funny, <laughs> and, and then some of them were kind of lame. And I think you know the ones with Deegan and Metzger when they were training, when they're in their in, right. the, in the in the thongs and all that. That was all of them. You know, yeah. Like we said, hey, we want to do something, and they said, okay, we know what we want to do. Yeah, yeah. But the funny part was, is we filmed that part, but they used to do that stuff by themselves, anyways. <laughs> like th- back in the day, that's yeah, the way they had was, fun. That was funny to them. Yeah. Um, old moto stars. Yeah. Well, this was uh. Oh, this guy. Okay, this guy, Bob Hanna, Bob Throttle Jackson. He I thought Bob st- Hanna sucked. And this is still on my CD that I listened to. You know, they yeah. had the beginning of the CD. This was a soundtrack. Uh, just some bum they found on the street. Yeah, I guess. and some guy that Jordan. And this was this li- this lady was outside. This is how long ago we were in Gainesville, Florida, outside the Coliseum. Oh, this is Florida. And okay. this was probably 1996. And this the Esther Gums lady. She didn't know who Jeremy McGrath was. She knew who Mercedes Gonzalez was. Right, right. We we t- oh. we, ha- we trained her. So that yeah, that was her deal. You can hear New Mac too. New Mac was there. She New Mac was New a Mac, big driving force. Uh, you can hear his voice in the background also. It was crazy. Like back in the day, like all these guys wanted to be part of this. Like right. they knew that it was something coming, and it, they were just bored with just race, 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 race. They needed to do some other yeah. stuff. So this is where it all started. Yeah, and uh, and like you said, this was hugely successful. This like, for Kurt for the movie for made the, the movie sold a lot of copies. I want to say that it sold upwards to back in the day. Close to 150,000 videos. Wow. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, instead of being like the crusty guys, um, you know, no disrespect to them, they did what they had to do. And uh, at the point in time, they really weren't giving back. Mm-hmm. You know, Jordan and Eric were pretty successful musicians and did what they had to do. And yeah. uh, instead of taking the money and put it in their pocket, they wanted to go back and uh, put it back into a, a race team and give back to these guys that were out filming and jumping. So, okay, so my, my timeline's maybe a little screwed up. I thought. You guys didn't have the team until the video became successful. Yeah, we didn't have the the team until the video came out. Oh, okay. Okay, All that right. was the, we, the first year we had the team was 1997. Right, right. We got so, done shooting so the video at the end of the like the like the summer of of um 96. Oh, okay. All so right. the video came out and did well, and then they just took all the proceeds from Started the video from and just oh. put it into the racing. That was Tommy Clowers, Brian Manley before his accident. Yeah. Manly, uh, good uh, mid '80s, a supercross, motocross guy. Scott Sheik at Pismo Beach. Yeah, New Yorker. He got him out there. Yeah, we got him to the beach. He's like, "Oh, t- should I bring some suntan lotion? <laughs> We're going to the beach." <laughs> I'm all, "No, you're going to go ride. I don't. You ride motorcycles at the beach." <laughs> I said, "Yes, you do, Scott. We're going to Pismo. What's that?" <laughs> and the Tomcat, dude. Yeah, it was funny. That baggy gear. Tomcat. That was a borrowed bike for the day too. He didn't have a motorcycle at the time. Oh, jeez. Who's that? Factory Phil. That's that's Russ right there, Rusty from Krusty's. Oh, I don't know who that is. Yeah, he's oh. he was. He's a Krusty guy. Yeah, he was a Krusty. He guy. was your Seth Enslow. <laughs> he no, he he's just he just aired it. How about this guy right here, yeah. Jeff Emick? And at the time, this is like a you know, it's like oh my god, Fro. Like, Fro is in it. Yeah, Jeff Emick was he was a supporter of it, and it was like one of those deals where everyone just went to Glamis and we hung out, and it was an off weekend, and there was no one there, yeah. and it was just about hanging out with your buddies and riding your dirt bike, and, yeah. and hopefully we got the shot. Uh, no MC though I don't think. Uh, no MC. Uh, he was. This, you're talking 1996, and that's right in his heyday of, and he was out there riding, but I don't think he he wasn't into doing the whole filming thing. Right, on this right, right. And totally understandable. Oh, and there you are. There you are. On that the was. Quad. I was I was a professional quad racer back in the day. They have a shot of me going down the Glamis sand drags naked. Um, Brian Swink, number thirteen. Oh yeah, that's true. That's right. Yeah, these look at those things, man. Those are nuts, huh? Yeah, those. those now, where's that? That's Glamis. That's called the Aqueduct, and that used to be the biggest thing to jump over it. Uh huh. And now, and it's only about forty feet across. Everyone used to think it was oh, the really? craziest <laughs> thing. Crazy thing. And Larry, now you'd have like a probably Adam yeah. Cincerello would jump it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> or even some guy on a sixty. But uh, <laughs> it, it worked. That was pretty cool back in the day. Like when that was that. We had a uh, Mark Easley ended up jumping it naked. Oh yeah. And we thought that was the raddest thing in the world. Right, right. So funny. Uh, uh, it looked big, but yeah, like you said, when, when you, back then you're like, oh. Uh, uh, now this this desert sort of stuff. Like, would you 
would you get those guys and tell them to film, or were you just they were dragging your filming? No, no. Yeah. That's, that's at the Sand Drags and Glamis. There's probably a couple thousand people lined up, and people have build their buggies and they go out there just to ride. Oh, look at these guys. Here we go. This is the section I was talking about. And where they, is this? This is this is M- Mike Metzger's yellow house in Marietta. <laughs> I want to say Marietta or Menifee, one of the people. Right, pe- right. So that was Brian Deegan. If you really look close, you could see the whips on his ass from Mesker hitting him with the whip, and you could hear him screaming. Oh, see yeah, the yeah, yeah, you, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's Mike Mesker. <laughs> and see why they were they were pretty stoked on this. Right. But, uh, back in the I day. I do like how you fast forward it, too. That's yeah, like, like back it. in the day, like – you got to understand, this is 1996 where it was so corporate. Yeah, yeah. And everyone yeah. was oh, freaking yeah. no, 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 out. Sure. And they, they seen this and they seen the name of the video, Triple X. And they were like, oh, oh. You know, I remember yeah. Mike or Brian left this the team that year and went to Chaparral the year after. And yeah. so Dave Dameron was just had so many, you know. Reservations. Deal, and, 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 well, he had a lot of, you know, claws in Brian's contract about dyeing his hair, oh, okay. acting a certain way. And, and I think really? that was dying like. the hair? Oh, yeah. It was Jeez. crazy. It, it came to the end. Uh, Mike Craig, Palm Avenue? Yes. Yeah. You can see uh, you can see, you can see see Andy uh, Harrington right here, too. He's number 22 on a Cowie. He was like an intermediate. Yeah. So, yeah. So, you knew him back then. Yeah. Palm yeah. Avenue, I've been there a few times. Yeah. Uh, it was pretty good. Mike Craig is w- most, one of the most stylish riders yeah. ever that guy could turn a motorcycle upside down at any point in his time his kid's not too bad too he looks a lot i think so i think so i think christian's uh See, it's in the sick. jeans i don't care like what year that is that yeah that's it's, still, it's, it's still i mean i bet guarantee you that motorcycle right there is not that bad even to this day that 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 cr250 yeah. is a good that's a steel frame one 96 right yeah 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 the last year um uh, were you here at this one? I was or, not there. No, this was uh, yeah. This Kurt? was a Kurt and Jordan for Kurt. sure. I know Jordan had to be there. Jordan was on every. There's a, there he oh, is. Oh yeah, there he is. I think he's jumping <laughs> into the bushes. Regis <laughs> still climbing around. Yeah, just now doing stunt work. <laughs> that's where he, that's where he got to start. Yeah, uh, exactly. Heel clicker, and that was big news back then. There he is. It's Andy's 18th birthday. Oh man. We brought him strippers, and he was stoked. As a matter of fact, I think his mom was there too. She was like, really? kind of, yeah, it was cool. Al Cajon. The El Cajon Zone. I was there this weekend, matter of fact. Oh, Larry Linklogel. This is the Wombat Acres. <laughs> this was Larry's. This was the. Uh, this is the official Metal Militia compound. Now, or you mean back then? Back like, no. Oh. This was before that it became the Metal Militia compound. This was Larry Linklogel's backyard. Oh, okay. That later became the Militia compound. Oh, okay. All right. And so, this is the Temecula area or something. Yes, this is Temecula. Wow. And this is Larry when he raced. Still, this is but this right. is this is 1995. Larry had a brief Jerry Hart 154. Oh, is it? Is yeah. that Hart? That's Metzger right in there. Right. 387, Fox Gear. I forgot Hart was in this thing. Hart, yeah. He's, Briefly. He's, well, that's, he, that's, that was his, uh, that, that was his, that's about much as he got. He really wasn't going too big in those days. Yeah, and, and yeah, and that's funny. Do you think a backflip even crossed his mind at this time? There he is right there. Look at that. Extreme super cross. Gear? Yep. I think, yeah. Hart was extreme back then. He didn't even know it. <laughs> uh, and, and this Metzger was a badass. He was Fox ads here. Like, oh, yeah. Mets, I mean, like Mets, 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 dude, Metzger had so much talent. He was such a good rider. Yeah. Okay, this is Warp Tour. Okay. Warp Tour back in the day. And this is like we tried to put a little punk rock into it and do stuff that other you know videos didn't have because we had these connections. Yeah, yeah. Who are all those people at the side of the stage, too? There's people just watching. Oh, where's that? Uh, that was just – I think that was at uh, Star West. This is just like a little. That's Brian Deegan in the club. Yeah, look at him in the club doing his thing. That's me knocking food out of someone's hand. This is Ed Staub. I don't oh, know if you remember Staub. Staub. Yeah, he, yeah. he tried to do this jump on a bicycle and it broke in half. <laughs> These are just kids at World Mini, like ta- where we had him tackling each other to be in the video. Yeah, yeah. You're just like hey, that's, you want that's our friend Jerry. What up, brother? He thought he knew how to jump a bicycle. No effects, doing their thing. Uh, smelly on the smelly drums. Smelly on the drums. Yep. Yeah. Mike Healy, look at the tongue, the tongster. <laughs> Reno, that's a Reno. That's in our garage. That's Jordan's bike. Some kid at Supercross rolling around. We thought it was pretty cool. Yeah, Star West again or whatever. Yeah, that's me pulling up a chick's dress, slapping her butt. That's me right there getting all pissed off. <laughs> Firework battle. Fireworks battle. Which yeah. was always epic. We used to do that, too, on the road quite a bit. Oh, big big crashes. Yeah, and really, if you think about it, this video, is a little bit of everything. How about Randy Lawrence right here with white hair? Oh, yeah. That's a... Uh, Ronnie Feist, not one tattoo on him. Yeah, yeah, really. How about yeah. that? How about wow. that? Ronnie Feist, Scott Sheik, number one. Number one. That's at Daytona. We were going to Tech. Look at that bike. <laughs> that was dude, immaculately by Kenny Watson. Look at, the, look at that guy, dude. He doesn't have one tattoo on him, dude. Isn't that crazy? Look at red hair, fire engine Couldn't red hair. He was uh, uh, still in the Kung Fu back then. Oh, yeah, look at him. There's Jordan Bernardo at Daytona. Look at Jordan. Do you think he wanted attention? Just walking around with that helmet on? Um, yeah, he loved it. Well, he still does. 
Uh, Bernardo. I forgot about Bernardo. Didn't Bernardo know. lives in Australia now. Really? Yeah. Doing what? Uh, he just moved there, and he's living in the somewhere in Australia. Uh, this video had everything, like uh, kids, little yeah. mini bikes, BMX, yeah. punk rock. Well, we tried crashes, to crashes, uh, some S and M stuff, like edgy stuff. Like it's crazy. Like we when we put this together, we, we kind of wanted to hit all the demographics of all of kids and adults, and then we're like, well, adults aren't going to let their kids watch it. Some some adults didn't yeah, really yeah. give a shit, but <laughs> a lot of people really, really, really booed on this. Like we had a lot of uh, hate mail. Really? Yeah. 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 Because crusty stuff was more uh more well, tamer. Like it was Yeah, it was tamer, motorcycle. but they it they, they but they had their fair of women in there. Yeah, I guess they did. They did, of. but they were, you know, they were all about going to the clubs and club rubber and Was there um was there a rivalry at the height? Nah, of not really. Crusty not really because Kurt Kurt came from the snow back the snowboard background and so did Dana and John. The, those guys, I mean, oh, those so they knew each other? Yeah. Like for Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. And it wasn't not, not no nothing to do with rivals. Now the crusty guys, they made a lot of money. I believe right? they did. Like, yeah, well they they I started hear. an apparel company and their clothing business was really they, they yeah. really marketed it well and they did really well. Uh, we we kinda went a different route and uh you know you know, it costs a lot of money to go racing and I think we spent yeah. more money in <laughs> racing and right. those guys probably would have been really, really, really well off if they didn't now, put their money for into you, racing. As a team manager slash mechanic those first years, was it like uh, here's a credit card and just I mean, here's, we have a. It was tough. Like, well, I mean, it was tough. Yeah, here was a credit card, but it was a battle. Like, them, them telling me, "You spent my money. You're spending <laughs> our money." Yeah, this is okay. Getting back to the south, <laughs> south of France. South of France. <laughs> it Otherwise, like, no. Hey, I think I believed it. But the, the giveaway is the trucks in the background. You got a, a Toyota and a Chevy truck. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Not the French ones. Yeah, but you oh, know, they 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 put me out France. on the road, and and we did the best we could. Um, there were some hard times. I remember. For about four months, I drove around the country, and the, and the box fan wasn't even registered, and we had no insurance. Really? Oh, oh yeah. Wow. That was the first yeah, year. Yeah. You know, we, we did whatever it took to go racing. It was either... Were the, were the riders on a salary that first year? Uh, like, were they getting any money? Or is it O'Neill money, maybe, or something? No, you, we let them... Ke- no, you know what? No, they didn't make a salary. Who they was didn't. it? Swink and Deegan. Swink and Deegan. Right, very first year. Yeah. Uh, what was it like getting Swink? What, I mean, that's kind of a big name. Yeah, dude, I was pumped. Right? I was so pumped. And he was kind of on the d- downward spiral, but, you know, he still wanted to race, and he still had to drive. And, you know, mm-hmm. it's it was it was really hard when he kept having injury after injury after injury. And right. he, and we would go ride, and he would test, and you'd just see the natural ability the guy had. Like, yeah. you knew. Like, I just remember him beating McGrath, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. And beating oh, these yeah, guys. And I'm, and I'm like, wow. why can't, You know, and back uh, in the day, I'm like, what's the difference? You know, he's, uh-huh. he's going to go race. He's going to beat him. But it, it there's a lot of different, you know, variables that happen in racing. So, um, And then who got Prashawn, I wonder? How was that? Uh, that was Jordan's deal. Jordan right. Jordan just called and bugged the shit out of people until they said, all right. <laughs> Fine. But, it, but, it, okay. but put it this way. It wasn't like Prashawn said, oh, yeah, I'm just going to come out. That's what I mean. It, well, I'm not going to come out and film. He was there riding and testing, and Jordan had, you know, Jordan got him t- to, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, t- yeah. to take yeah. part. Well, that's what, that's what I mean. How about Screech? Oh, yeah, I forgot about Screech. Dustin Diamond. Uh, I, only you would know him. Billy Joe from Green Day. Oh, yeah. What's he saying? I don't even remember. You're watching Motor Triple X and I'll suck my bottle. That's funny. I forgot about that. Yeah, that Backstage was... at a NoFX concert, probably? Yeah, they played together. And the funny thing was, like, Jordan has all this footage. Like, he has Evil Knievel saying, hey, you're watching Motor Triple X. He has, uh-huh. you know, Jimmy Page, Robert Plant. Oh, yeah? All those really? dudes. Yeah. Well, but, but Put it in there. Th- but the thing was... Jordan and Kurt used to battle over it. Like, what does that have to do with racing? You know what I mean? People, and I was always on Jordan's side. I'm like, Jordan, dude, you know what? These people, you're right. People want to see this yeah. stuff. So, Evil can evil, for yeah. sure. Travis Preston. Oh, Preston. Yep, I don't remember who that was. Sean Perilio. Oh, I forgot about Perilio. Yeah, this There's is a Al- lot of guys in this. Alcatel Wells. Alcatel right Wells, yeah, yeah. San Diego. Rich Taylor. Oh, X brand goggles. Yeah, that's him. He's wearing. You think he's wearing X brand? I probably have uh, Smith song. right there. <laughs> yeah, uh, I've been to Ocotillo a few times. Did uh, you air it out? It's called. We call it the mud humps. <laughs> I used to call it tits because everything looked like a tit. It, you're right. It was. It just looked like yeah. Tom Clowers. Yeah, Ocotillo was fun. The times I went there, I, I really. I Did you shit. jump? Did you I jump? Really, yeah, I jumped. Should I, I ate shit ju- though. I wouldn't jump. I went over the bars. I wouldn't jump. Um, it's too gnarly for me. I actually was doing jumps at like. What about Chris Wheeler? Seriously, I was out with Tim Ferry, and I was almost jumped. Almost jumping as far as him at Ocotillo. He was scared to shitless. He was. Yeah, come on, guys. I swear to God, you can ask Big B. Ryan Raglan. You remember Raglan? I know Rags. I, I didn't know. know he was in Riz. You know Rags from Oregon? No, he's from. He worked, I worked with him at KTM. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Yeah, he was a race team mechanic for, for her one year. I didn't know that. Well, Is it, unless it's a different Ryan Raglan. No, it's Ryan Raglan, I think. Wow. Oh. Of course, look at him airing it, Raggy. Yeah, he is a San Diego guy, so. What about Preston? Oh, yeah. This must have been when Preston was uh, right almost quitting the sport. 
after Chaparral days. No, he before. he wrote for he wrote for Suzuki like uh, an amateur guy. That's like right when he first came up right after Chaparral. Pro. Oh, yeah. okay. Man, this brings back so many memories. Yeah, man. it's good. Good times. Um, good times. No, oh. and that was like I touch your knee. Wow, shit, you know. And he grabbed his balls by oh, the way. Did he? He oh. Touch his knee. Sorry, bud. My vision is not as good as yours. Um, yeah, and again, like uh, this is uh, two hours outside. Tyler King, name sounds familiar. Uh, two hours outside of San Diego, so it's not easy to get all these guys to come out. I'm no, sure. it's you know, it's like I said before. It's just like all these guys love to ride their motorcycles and just yeah. love to jump. And anytime that you put a camera in front of these guys, Ryan it's Swank on. at home in Florida. Yep. This, hey, his track was pretty gnarly. This is when he rode for this is in, Honda Troy. This is yeah, ninety six. Right. He rode for Honda Troy. Mm-hmm. And this dude, everybody and their mother would be there. Yeah, yeah. Even Ty Birdwell and I went yeah. there. Yeah. Uh, gnarly track. I yeah. Remember. It's crazy. Like, I, I see Swink right here, and I, you know, just like watching this video, and then I remember your podcast with Brian, man. It was such a bum out for me to listen to that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. God, he's, he's, he's such a good dude and just made some stupid decisions, but yeah. we got him. Yeah, I do remember jumping through the trees like that. Dude, it was gnarly. Uh, like he would that do, was your sh- your cover shot right there. Yeah, he would go around the corner one-handed right there in that bowl turn yeah. in the sand. Right? That was in front of the cover. Yeah. Uh, him, He's in the cover. He yeah. is, he's on the cover, Steve. Say that a few more times. Yeah, is he on, he's the, on the cover? cover? He's on the cover. Oh, yeah, there we go. One-handed. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Swink was a bad dude. No doubt about it. And uh, I remember there was a few jumps where you had to duck your head, and, and it was reminding me of riding at Like Cooper's. when 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 the guys, like when they were jumping like right there, did you duck when they were out there just to make sure? Like, were you ducking your head, too? <laughs> no, I wasn't. I was just standing there. Look at that. New Mac had some blisters. Oh, New Mac. He looks the same nowadays, doesn't he? <laughs> Who do you think's bigger, you or New Mac? New Mac's huge, dude. I mean, he's 6'5". I mean, he's just a huge dude. <laughs> New Mac, he's, I, I used to have so much fun with these guys. They were such characters, dude. Yeah, yeah. Such characters. Um, well, oh, he hit his head on the tree. My first year in 96 working with Paggio, we mm-hmm. took New Mac around everywhere. Oh, New really? Mac and his chick. What about Treadwell, so, Eichel, oh. Glass? Oh, there's the Florida gang. Look at that. Wheelie and the Chopper bunch. It does have, that would have been pretty gnarly to do. That's a pretty busy road right there. Is that Fessler? Yep. Tom Fe- Fezzi? Yep. <laughs> Dude, everybody make this video. I just had to have a bike. I would have made the video. Dude, Seems totally. Like. You just put, put a number on it. Because Fezzi wasn't a very good rider. He no. was all right, but. Uh, yeah. yeah, so where are we at? Oh, were you here for this? For this I day? wasn't there. Was Jeez, that RT? You, RT? Let me know when you were. Was that RT? That's RT. Bro. Give me a day when you were there. there. All right, yeah. <laughs> I wasn't there, dude. I wasn't. I don't know where I was at. I was there that night. I remember that night, though. Right. That night was out of control. Right. Big bird. Um, yeah, I was here. I was here for this part. I was here for the Supercross field. Him and Larry Ward rode that day, and this guy right here, Treadwell. Is that Treadwell or Barton? It's Treadwell. Okay. Um, Big Bird. Big Bird wasn't in doing tricks. He just wanted to moto down. Yeah, these guys were crazy. I ride backwards on their bike. They put like ten people on there and try to ride backwards. <laughs> I could barely ride forwards. <laughs> Look at that. That's pretty good. Look at all these grown dudes playing with like mini bike toys. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Paggio was around on this day. Even though he doesn't like to admit it, he was part of the whole shenanigans. Yeah. yeah you'd, find, you'd, have, you'd have a hard time finding, get him to admit that now. Um, it's funny because I remember the, this is the first time I've seen this video in 10 years. Really? Probably 10 I years. haven't seen it in a long time either. I don't yeah. think it's probably not been 10 years. I don't even have this video. Yeah, I, I didn't think I had it either. I don't actually. have any of the Motor Triple X videos. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> I'll give you this one if you like. This one has all of – was there four of them? Uh, I think there was five of them. This one has all five of them on, whatever. Um, I was only around for the first three. I worked. F- I, I really didn't even – I worked for the for the first two, and then I was out of there before the third one, and um, that's when uh, Schweitzer came in and did a bunch of stuff. But uh, it was good. It was. This was a lot of fun. I met a lot of cool people, and we traveled all over the country and yeah. did some really, really cool stuff. Yeah, well, this would have been fun to, to do, uh, I think – I don't know if it's this one or the second one, but Birdwell, when I worked for him, he's in one of them. Uh, yeah, well, at I Redick, remember at Reddick. Yeah, I remember. This might be. Did you work for Ty then, or when we went to Adam Jones's house, or Kenny yeah, Jones? Kenny, Kenny Jones? Jones. Yeah, yeah, I, I was there too. Don't yeah. you remember me being there? Me and Big Mark. Yeah, you you were a real dick to me. Uh, pro, pretty yeah, much. What what has changed? Uh, and then, um, I think we couldn't park on a concrete slab, or we had to park on a concrete slab. One of and we screwed up. We yeah. either did or didn't. Yeah, and they were the, and they the, were upset the, the at Jones us. Were freaking right, out. Right, right. <laughs> uh, New Mac. I forgot how big of a star he was in this. There you go, David oh, Ping. 
Now, where's this? This is that place I told you in Arizona. It's like some abandoned, like somewhere in Arizona. It's like a right next to some old like uh, airport airplane. Oh, okay. yeah. It's like an airplane graveyard or something. I want to <laughs> say. Yeah, and like, uh, um, you know, Ping wasn't really. I remember he wasn't really known as this radical guy or nothing like that. But it was just no. cool to see these pros just jump like this. I mean, it's crazy because it looks so tame right now with me watching this, but. At the time, we thought this was rad. Well, this is sure. this. Is, you have to understand. This is before the first freestyle contest. This yeah. is before tricks. This is before anything. This was this this whole video. If you're old enough to know this video, there used to be a practice that Gary Bailey did back in the day called Pros of Practice yeah. and Play. Yeah. And that's kind of what we were going to do, but throw a little bit of lifestyle into right. it. Show these guys what they do when they're just not riding a track that they ride dirt yeah. bikes for fun just like everybody else. And that's where the whole thing started, like what we wanted to do. Yeah. And, you know, like you see how videos are today, it just is escalated into a whole different, yeah. you know, monster. Pink probably got chewed out for not having graphics on his bike and stuff when he went probably. To, the, to the shop. Um, yeah. And it, I don't think so. I don't think Mitch Payton probably never even seen this. Yeah, that's probably a good point. Why don't we ask him tonight? Yeah, we could. He's coming on the show tonight. This is a uh, Monday uh, night before the show. Um, yeah, so you guys know I wouldn't be here, you know, like during the week <laughs> hanging out. I just came like at 10 minutes early. Um, now, what about did – the, did the success of the video surprise you? Did you? Not at all. I mean, not at all. When we the money knew. started coming in or whatever. You're well, like, put it shit. this way: I've never seen the money come in. Well, okay, I, I, not, yeah, but you knew that the. But I knew, I knew that I knew that it had a market for it. Um, I knew that what we were trying to hit, um, you know. Like, Jordan and Eric had this vision from the beginning. Like, yeah. they wanted it punk rock, punk rock, punk rock. And there's all these guys that were in this vi- in the video. They this they watched. They, they, I mean, they, they listened to punk rock music. I mean. What happened here? Uh, yeah. so we, we got busted, and the helicopter landed and gave Scott a ticket. And yeah, tried this is where to goes Scott us. Sheik. George. George! <laughs> What's your name? You want to mess around? <laughs> the cops, he's like, he's, and sh- the, co- the cop was like, I wish you would have ran. It would have gave me some excitement. Uh, I'm surprised that he let you guys film. He didn't. He, he told us to shut the camera off, but, you know, who do you think kept filming? Yeah, exactly right. <laughs> um, ah, funny, I forgot about this scene, too. And, and yeah. doesn't he spell his name S-H-E-A-K? <laughs> Sheik. <laughs> What's your middle name? George. <laughs> you can see in the background, you see a young Kenny Watson behind Sheik's head. Let's see if you can see me. I'm right there. Oh, you probably can't see it. Oh. But it, this was comedy right there. Oh, yeah. Blonde hair. I forgot about that, Kenny. <laughs> Punk rock, bleach hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kenny with hair. That's what I've been that's hair for a long time. Hair. Well, that's what happens when you bleach your hair for like ten years; it falls out. <laughs> Don't bleach your hair, kids. <laughs> I did mine, but only for a little bit. And then really? I got, uh, yeah. And then I, then I, I wisened. I remember your hair was orange though. It was never no, it white. wasn't. It was fucking cool. It was white. It's, and I had, did you have white and tips? I had, and I had, no, did I didn't you have, have tips. Did you have the McGrath intermediate earrings? Yes. The hoops? Yes. The of course, hoops. we all didn't did. have those. Yeah, dude, who didn't have those? I still laugh when I see those. And you had different gauge balls at the end of it, yeah. like eight or ten gauge. I remember, like, like you go back to like Dallas and you see those dudes still rocking them. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> it's awesome. Oh, Bakersfield. Now this is Rusty Holland. Yeah. Crum, is Crum probably? I in don't here? think Crum's in this. Dude. Oh. I think it was. That's uh, Style Lewis. I don't know. Is that Preston? Um. What do you have electrical tape for numbers? Yeah, that's Turtle. <laughs> um. I think, I've been, I think I've been to this place when I stayed with Crum when I was with Birdwell. Yeah, I got a really good story about Birdie when we were out there. I'll tell you off there, but it's pretty funny. Um, burp, burp, burp. Yeah, this was this was fun. And I remember the whole time about this is there was like this huge hill climb, and there was this guy out there, and in the video, he was like an old timer. He had this hill climber bike, and he keeps going up the hill. There he is, right oh. there, and he has no helmet. And we're asking him, why don't you wear your helmet? He goes, oh, I got a new one. It's in the box. I just don't want to scratch it if I fall. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Yeah. Look at that. He didn't make it. Didn't he this is it. kind of the end of the video, I think, right here, bud. Um, this is awesome. This is great. I'm, I hope I hope everyone like enjoys this because I, I really enjoy watching this. Electrical tape for numbers? Really, guys? Come on, man. Watson? Don't ask me, dude. I wasn't even there. He, you know what? You know what? With Lewis, he was 15 the year before, but then he went to 11. Oh, he probably didn't want to. Look at that. I know. Chess was 15. Yeah. He probably didn't want to be sh- seen with 15. Yeah, knowing him, yeah, because you know everything was probably perfect. Right, on his right, bike exactly, too. exactly. That's a big jump. Yeah, that's, not, that's no day, joke. That's probably about forty feet. How about that? Uh, how about that Seth Enzel crash in Krusty? That was pretty gnarly, right? I think that's what put the whole video it thing did, on didn't the it? map. Yeah, for sure. I mean, my buddies and I would just rewind that. We'd just be yeah, like, that "Holy was dirty, uh, dirty." Do you ever met that dude? You know him at all? Yeah, I know Seth yeah? very well. Yeah, uh, he's uh, and he's, the, the he's, second video he landed on a bunch of bikes. 
McGrath. No, that was bike? that was that wasn't him. That was oh. Ru- that was that was Rusty, the other guy that you've seen in the video. Oh, okay. We have that. that uh, that's in that's in Moto Triple X too. Oh, is it Triple X? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, that crash was huge, dude. Huge. Yeah. And uh, uh, you're right. That pro- you probably needed something like that to. Re- oh, look at this guy. Look at that thing. Look at that thing. It's like a uh, RM400 or something. <laughs> He's taking the, the girl line. See it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, they just showed Lewis. Went. Oh, this is a this is the tough one. Yeah, Kyle. You know, actually, Kyle, for as much grief as you give him, um, and I gave him, and we all gave him about supercross skills. Alan Brown also about not having supercross skills. You took him to the hills like this. He was pretty good. Yeah, because like, he grew up. He grew up at it, right? He grew up in Simi, and that this is that's the way Bakersfield is. is there's this mass hills and yeah. hill climbing. And because I remember him Indian going Dunes. really fast around this little crappy ass desert track one time, and yeah. I was like, "Wow, jeez!" Oh, right off the freeway, right there. Yeah, I don't know, yeah. somewhere up there. Yeah, this was a good time, man. This was back in the day. I don't know if anyone's gonna like like this, like I said, but you know what? This was funny. This shit. This guy's funny. Yeah. Look at his shirt, his duck shirt. <laughs> it's like something out of the seventies. <laughs> Look at Kyle. Kyle's just laughing. <laughs> yeah, like and this stuff hadn't been ever been shown. This sort of uh, lifestyle, yeah. uh, humor, Saturday Night Live stuff. Uh, um, Saturday Night time. Saturday Night Live stuff. Well, you know, like skit stuff. Yeah, uh, I mean, dude, there's like in the. I think it's in two. Quick Fix Films was what Haller, Jordan, and Eric. Yes. Yeah. Um, those those were the guys, and then, uh, you know, there's a couple other really good skits. I, I think one of my favorite is that uh, is the special Rob s- skit. Do you guys ever watch that when the we no, my, so. my friend dressed up as Evil Knievel, and we went. He said he was Robbie Knievel, <laughs> and he he loved Evil Knievel, so we dressed him up and he, we went around. And Which one is, was that in? Two. I think two or three. Okay. And we went to this guy's house to buy this 1980 RM125, and the uh-huh. guy said he worked at Suzuki, and it was all blue printed. Oh yeah. And we had, <laughs> and we printed like my friend was, we printed he was retarded, yeah, yeah. and we had him start the bike yeah. up, and we set wood ramps up in the street, and he was jumping on. And it, it was guy had no good. idea. Look at Kenny Watson. Thanks. Very yeah. very first. Yeah. If you look at it, it's, there's some names in there that will bring it back. Davy Coombs. I don't know what Davy did. Maybe free advertising. I don't know either. Um. Yeah. Well, right on, everybody. Hey, thanks for uh, listening to this Pulp MX Classic Commentary. Uh, who's Jeff Barbo? Jeff, Bar- Jeff Barber Kobe was uh, one of our friends that passed away. His parents owned uh, L.A. County. His dad was the um, one of the um, founders of CRC Racing, oh, California okay. Racing Club. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, anyways, thanks, everybody, for uh, for uh, watching Pulp MX Classic Commentary, Moto Triple X. Uh, thanks, Kenny, for doing it. Yeah, it was fun. I hope, I hope you guys enjoy this. And uh, if you guys haven't seen the movie um, – don't go out and buy it. Just download it.